shortly after the events of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, uh, Desmond finds himself stuck in a coma. And you know what Assassin's Creed Revelations will do is, is finally wrap up these intertwined destinies of Altair, Ezio, and Desmond. Um, their separate stories will continue, but for Brotherhood, we're bringing it all together for the fans uh, to enjoy. Um, Desmond is essentially trapped inside the Animus in a critical state. So essentially, his mind is fragmented. Um, with all the memories of Altair and Ezio um, in his head, what he has to do is find uh, almost like a, a, a synchronization nexus to escape from the coma. And by that, he has to relive some pivotal moments in Altair and Ezio's life. I cannot rest until all has been revealed and my mentor's secrets are laid bare. Without using any wild plot devices or any cliches, it's definitely been a challenge to wind it all into a cohesive story. And I think um, what the fans are gonna see and experience is a real great sense of the epic scale uh, of Assassin's Creed that's, you know, that spans the best part of seven or 800 years. Um, but still manages to do so by, by really closely intertwining the destinies of these three characters. Like the gel really is the story that keeps all this together. Um, and, it, um, and it keeps you really kind of immersed in, in terms of immersed in the experience as well. Constantinople is a, is a real melting pot in terms of East meets West. And um, to reflect the ongoing battle between the Templars and the assassins in the city, you'll find that districts will actually that you take can actually fall back and be taken back by the Templars. So there's an inter there's going to be an interesting dynamic struggle um, throughout the game of you having to take control of districts and then retake control of them if you lose them. I won't give too much away about how that all plays out because that's that's the forthcoming game is going to see how that's going to work in the game. The Hawk Blade is definitely going to be really popular with the fans. It connects up to elements in the environment and with combat as well. It allows uh, more fluidity, free range of movement and combat. Change really lies now that players can use any kind of primary and secondary weapon combination. In addition, the empty hand is also um, used for the hook blade as well. Overall, these changes make for a great dynamic combat experience in Assassin's Creed Revelations. Oh, 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 oh.